I have to actually turn the mic on. Did that work? Ooh. Yes, we could. Um, yes, how's the balance of the music and the, um, the audio? We could, we could have, um, bacon. bacon. Uh, we could have uh, a separate set of, um, audio sounds, Linnea. Um, I, I would have to install Streamlabs chatbot on this computer. You can't hear music. Let's try. Can you hear music now? I'm about to go on a boat. You're going on a boat? A small person is playing Minecraft. Yes. The music is really loud in my ear. You don't think so? Let me turn the... Oof. Do you hear music, steampunk? You do? Is it loud, soft, too loud, too soft? Gap, gaps letters. Cause it's really loud in my ears. Soft, chill, okay, good. Um, we are going to make chicken, bacon, ranch rice. Chicken, bacon, ranch rice. There's a big focus on the bacon here, obviously, because bacon. Now it's gone. Well, there was a pause on the music. You can turn this up. Yeah, you could use turkey bacon for this for sure. My voice is music enough. Oh, you're very sweet. What? Well, I'm sad that there's you guys don't hear the music. Um You hear it now? Okay. Um, the, yes, turkey bacon would absolutely work. The, what we want from the bacon is the smoky flavor, the salt and the fat. So turkey bacon's not going to have a lot of fat. So what you may want to do with turkey bacon is add a little bit of cooking oil after we cook our bacon. So what we're going to do in the instant pot here, um, we're going to cut up. This is um, a pound and a half of bacon. So we're going to reserve about half a pound of this for something else we might cook, like a breakfast. <laughs> yes. You're going to help. Don't forget to brush your, or wash your hands. And can you put on a different shirt, please? I don't want your school uniform to get food on it. I also don't want the whole world to see what school you go to. Um, so yeah, I would say we're going to take about, um, just a few slices off of this. Cause we really only want about <clears throat> a pound. 
of bacon. Um, a pound and a half of bacon for this recipe would be very bacony, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. You open the recipe like a fork and lost the stream for a minute. Dope. Holy crap, what? Wow. The boy bought a Minecraft pack with uh, some leftover money he had um, on his Microsoft account, and they look pretty cool. Like a fork. Fork equals dork, because of course it does. So I'm just going to put the leftover bacon in a bag, and we are going to cook this. Some other time. Um, so we're gonna get our instant pot onto saute. Which pack was it, buddy? It was the Lord of Fire and Ice. The Lord of Fire and Ice, Linnea. Um, so um, this bacon is a Costco bacon. Um, very standard bacon, not anything super special. Um, I'm just gonna cut this. I need to sharpen my knives. Um, in about an inch, um, in a, like a strip, just very, very small pieces. Um, they cook faster. If you cut them, um, I don't like to cut them any smaller than that. You could continue to dice them if you wanted to, but I find they get too crispy um, and a little bit, honestly, a little bit gross um, if you cut them any smaller than that. Yes? No, baby, it's not the weekend. Tomorrow is Friday and technically the weekend. Um, so we're going to put all the bacon in the Instant Pot. I mean, that's really the only difference, Linnea, would be that it's not going to create as much fat. So for this recipe, the thing that we get for the most part out of the bacon here is after we cook it, we take out a lot of the fat and we we only will have about leftover, about a tablespoon of the bacon. Um, so, that's not my phone ringing. It's my tablet. Oh, it's your tablet. This is um, the so as long as you have about a tablespoon of or less, about like t uh, maybe two teaspoons to a tablespoon of cooking oil for the chicken and the rice, that's about what you want for this recipe. Um, we're gonna have a lot more than that with this bacon, um, which is why we take the bacon out and, I forgot to put in the recipe that you add the bacon back in. Cause you take the bacon out, you don't cook it with it. That music is really loud for me. I'm gonna turn this down. I'm gonna turn it up here. Like down in my ears. Um, so that's really the only thing with the turkey bacon is I would just, um, I would just make sure that you add a little bit. And you could use you could use butter, you could use avocado oil, canola oil, um, any sort of cook, any of your favorite co whatever cooking oil you wanted to use. Um, so we're going to get a plate, an ex extractive device for our, but our bacon once it's um, cooked. This is just a simple um, fryer strainer that we can take it out and put it on the plate. And now, delicious frying noises. Um, and we're just going to stir that. This will probably take about 10 minutes. Um, oh yeah. Now we can chat. I'm, I'm gonna get a, um, 
I'm gonna get a seltzer. Um, so I know this recipe doesn't have cheese in it. I was honestly thinking of moving my cooking streams to Thursday, so I don't have to worry about going and picking up um, the boy. Because on Fridays, if he's at parkour and I don't have anybody to pick him up, I have to stop stream to go get him. And he doesn't have parkour on Thursday. The same place you was for mac and cheese stream. Nice. This is true. You could definitely add cheese to this. 100%. I mean, you can, like, anything can have cheese. Um, I am, while that's cooking, I'm gonna cut up our chicken. Um, I use, um, from Costco, um, Boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I get them in bulk. You can use chicken breast if you want to. It would be good with cheddar, Linnea, absolutely. Um, I think a sharp cheese would be good, like oh, with a little bit of bite to it. Um, this, this recipe is already pretty rich because of the bacon and the ranch seasoning. So it's not something that I would add a whole lot of cheese to, but you could certainly sprinkle a little bit on top. Um, but a, a cheddar would be really nice on top because cheese, I mean, cheddar goes good with bacon anyway. Um, so I use boneless chicken thighs with a lot of my recipes, a lot. They have more flavor. They are um, super easy to, um, to cut up and Huh. And they are, um, they're really cheap. What's baby? Yeah, bring it over here. I'm rescuing a show on our tablet. Um, Dino Dana! D-I-N-O-D-A-N-A. -N so as the bacon cooks, it's gonna lose a lot of its moisture. And um, what we're looking for um, as this cooks off, um, it's gonna render a lot of the fat um and that's what we want um so we're gonna thank you can you take thank you so um this is about a pound um i like to i like to cook a little bit more than a pound in this recipe um ooh, itchy nose um, I like about a pound and a half. Uh, this particular package was just a little bit shy of that, unfortunately. Um, I could probably... The great thing about this recipe is it's super scalable. So if you wanted to, um, if you had a smaller family, you could use like a real scant pound and use a cup of rice and a half a cup of bacon and then just like a cup of chicken broth if, but the great thing about this too, is that this recipe stays nice in the fridge and it's great for leftovers because you can fry it up in a pan. And if you like crispy rice or if you like fried rice, it makes really good fried rice, like second day fried rice. Um, so it makes great leftovers. Um, if you like um, soup, it's really great in like if you make a chicken broth 
it's really great to add to a soup. Um, so it's, again, super nice for second day leftovers. So I make a really big batch. Um, so that's why I usually do like a pound and a half of chicken with a pound of bacon with two cups of rice. Um, again, you can scale that up if you have a bigger family. Like if you're looking to feed six to eight people at a meal, I would do, I would probably double the meat of chicken um, and add another cup of rice. That would add a lot more meat, a lot of more substance to the meal without really adding a lot more cost while adding a bit more heartiness to it um, and get a lot more, a lot more food. Or teenagers because we're getting there, right, Linnea? We have these ravage, you know, full, like my son came home from school today and ate an entire ham and cheese sandwich for snack, a snack. And then asked for Cheez-Its. And I was like, it's four o'clock. We're going to eat dinner in two hours. How about no? How about no? I know you're still hungry. That's why dinner is going to be ready in about half an hour. I love you. They are growing and I love them. So I would cut these into pieces, probably about that big, honestly. You can cut them into a little bit bigger pieces. Um... But don't kill yourself making it perfect. That's the other beautiful thing about um, chicken thigh. Um, I do not bother making this beautiful. This meal is very kind of country home looking. It's not um, by any means a... It's not going to win any um, uh, awards for the most beautiful meal. Um, uh, I posted this recipe in our Discord uh, about a month or so ago, maybe longer, when one of our um, members was asking for recipes for her family, or for their family, where they're not a meat eater themselves, and they don't necessarily want to have to touch or prepare meat. Um, the other way you can get around having to touch and prepare meat is if you defrost your chicken, but only defrost it to about like 50%. So if you defrost your chicken, so it's still kind of like crystallized, where it's just slightly squishy to the touch, it's a lot easier to cut in that you don't really have to do much to cut it. It's a lot less floppy. It's a lot less gross feeling. Um, and you can actually get a lot more uniform shapes. Um, and it's a lot easier to, um, it's a lot easier to cut. Um, this had been sitting in a warm water bath for a little while because I forgot to take this out of the freezer last night. Because we have on our fridge back here, um, I have a menu of all the things that we eat throughout the week. Um, so I actually can keep my shit together and know what we're having every night for dinner. So when kids go, hey mom, what's for dinner? I actually, you know, can tell them and they know. Um, okay, so our chicken's cut up. I'm going to go wash my hands. Food looking nice is okay. And this, this meal doesn't look terrible. It's just, it's not the prettiest. They also sell pre-cut chicken. It's a little bit more expensive. It's, it's definitely gonna probably add a pound or a dollar a pound to your uh, cost of your meat. So I, I've, I honestly don't like the, the feeling of chicken either when I'm cutting it. So I only thought usually to about half, and then it cuts up much, much easier. Much, much easier. So this is, this is Elma's done cooking. You can take it out of the Instant Pot. And once that fat renders down, it cooks much, much faster because it's actually frying. Um, so you wanna move it around a little bit so it cooks 
more evenly and more quickly. I'm going to wash my hands and look out at my beautiful chickens. Hello, beautiful chickens. Ow. The difference between washing your hands in mostly hot water and like scalding hot water. I like taking showers in scalding hot water. Maybe not. Like non-chickenized fingers. We're going to use a clean cloth to, to dry off with. Yes, yeah, almost done. Uh, and this really depends on how crispy you like your bacon. Um, because we take this out and then add it back in when it's everything's cooked, which I forgot to add that to the recipe because I was doing everything by memory. Um, you take this out. You don't actually cook this part in the Instant Pot. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking of moving the normal cooking stream to Thursday so that I don't have to worry about kids' schedules. And then on Friday night, doing just a normal gaming stream. That's what I think I would do. So we'll see. Uh, if you could only have smell-o-vision, you guys. It so smells so, so good. Mm -hmm. What? Just One what? Soccer. Soccer? Oh boy. Um, so if you don't make your own chicken stock all the time, I try and make my own chicken stock, but I don't always get it. Um, can a canned or bottled or whatever chicken stock you can use chicken bouillon cubes you could also just use water i would recommend um using you'd need extra salt some extra flavors i think to pump this particular recipe up a notch if you're not using um chicken broth so what i'm doing here is i'm just taking the instant pot liner out to make it easier to lean it to one side to take the bacon out. You guys can see that. Um. Um, just pulling to one side to get all the bacon pieces out. And you can see in the bottom of the pot, maybe here. There's probably, I'd say at least a third of a cup, a third of a cup of fat, of bacon fat in there, um, which is great and fine and it's delicious and awesome. That would make this dish really, really greasy if we left that all in there. So adjust this to your level of desired fat um i'm going to take all but about a tablespoon out of this dish um i've 
I've left it all in before, and it's it's a bit much. <laughs> I have a cup over here on my counter um, that is specifically for bacon drippings because I use them in other things, um, like when I make my eggs or um, in other uh, meals. But if you want to throw them away, that's all up to you. Right? Freeze it for later. Um, so now that I have my reserved bacon drippings, and I leave all the fauna and everything from the bacon in the pan, I'm going to put my chicken. I'm going to move this back to saute. I'm going to put this back in the pan. Um... We're gonna put that there for you guys to look at. I'm gonna move my gross cutting board and my chickeny butcher knife. I'm gonna eat this. And hi, Michelle. Um, we're gonna stir that up and cook it just a little bit. And then we're gonna add our rice. Um, this is a giant mason jar full of rice. How do I explain how I do my rice? I buy a giant 10 pound bag of rice at Costco. And then I move rice into this mason jar for use in recipes. Um, I have this little pour spout on the top that I use to pour out and measure. It makes it very nice. That's just how we do it. Only 10 pounds. That's all they sell it. They don't sell it any bigger than that, Michelle. So I'm going to put two cups of rice. This is a half cup, so four of these. That was four, right? Four? I can't count. Hey again. Um, I really like to coat my rice with a little bit of fat before I cook it. Your mileage may vary. I find it gives the rice a better texture, especially in the Instant Pot. We're gonna, we have that up on saute at high. We're gonna let that cook for two, three minutes. Um, this is where the ranch comes in. You want to put in the seasoning? You want to bring your stool over here? So this is just ranch seasoning. The ingredients are buttermilk powder, sea salt, onion, lactose, garlic, Parmesan cheese, spices, and herbs. That's it. Herbs? Um, if you don't have the ranch seasoning, I would sweat it. Um, you can use a combination of garlic powder, onion, onion powder. I wouldn't worry about the whole buttermilk powder, um, Parmesan cheese. Just use your favorite spices. Um, that's the part that really adds a nice flavor to this. So we're gonna do three cups oh, of chicken just... stock. So we need six of these. Okay? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. You gonna help me count? 
I'll I'll let you add the buttermilk seasoning, okay? Or the ranch seasoning. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, will you stir? And then these come, this, these Tetra Packs have four cups of stock in them. So yeah, all, our, um, stuff. All, all the rice off the side. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to add a tablespoon of the ranch seasoning. I can help. I would be happy to help. Can you move your face out of the way? Thank you. I don't want you to get burned. I was just going to leave to watch Dino Dana. I know. But, oh. Is that it? Thank you. Oh. What? For my hand. Oh, I'm are you okay? Yeah. Don't don't touch your hand onto the metal part because that's hot. All right, all stirred up. Thank you. Uh, may I put in the bacon? It, the, we don't put the bacon until after it's cooked, right? Move your face. Bubbling. It is bubbling. So now we're going to put the Instant Pot on, we're going to move it to ceiling, we're going to hit cancel to turn off the saute. I like cooking this just on the rice setting. Uh, it cooks it at a low temperature for about 12 minutes. If you don't have the rice setting on your Instant Pot, you can cook it on either a low or a high for about 10 minutes. That's fine. Um, it's just easy because it's one button and I don't have to push a bunch of other buttons. Okay, Linnea. We're going to leave this out because I add a little bit more of this afterwards because I like the way this tastes both before and after. Um, we're going to dispose of this because this was used to stir raw chicken. We don't want to use that after it's been cooked. We're going to eat another piece. You may have one piece of bacon. Piece of bacon. Mm. Too? I'm the chef. I get to do whatever I want. I'm gonna be the chef. Maybe next time. No. Not next time. Mm hmm. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Okay. Maybe. We'll see. So. I want to do a stream about toys. You want to do a stream about toys? Well, you can't stream yet. You're not old enough. No, you have to be 13 to stream. What? 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 So you can't stream all by yourself. You want me stream about toys? I would not let you stream on Twitch about toys. You could make YouTube videos and we could post them on a YouTube. <laughs> but I cannot, I can't let you stream all by yourself. Why can't you just help me? <laughs> because you can't stream. Why don't you why don't you go watch your show? I'm done right. I hear your you I hear your tablet on right now, then go turn it off, please. You just hit my hungry mode. Can you go turn your tablet off, please? No. Could you go pause your tablet then? No! Would you like me to pause your tablet then? No! What is the matter? If you're here talking to me, then what's happening with your tablet? You put me on hungry mode, so I'm very hungry right now. Well,
Well, it is about dinner time. It's it's valid to be hungry, and dinner will be ready any minute. So it's okay to be hungry, sweetie. But if you're going to be over here talking, then I need your tablet to be off. Please don't put your teeth on the counter. It's not food. Would watch a toy chat with mom and daughter? Yeah. That might be fun. Avery, it's not appropriate to eat the countertop. It's too loud. Could you please turn it down? So sassy. So while this is coming to pressure and cooking, um, so we've been prepping and cooking for about 35 minutes, which is pretty good, all things considered. Um, this usually, this whole recipe usually takes about 50 minutes to make from start to end. Um, what's great about this is that I can put this here and walk away, which is really nice. So now that this is finished cooking, I could go do something else for the 15 minutes it's going to take to cook. I don't have to worry about the instant pot. Um having to manage it or, or look at it or cook it. And even after it comes to temperature, if I'm lax in the few minutes it takes um, before I come over here to turn it off or to let the pressure out. See, it's come to pressure now. Did you guys just see the button come up? Um, so it'll go to, uh, it'll come to pressure and I'll tell you guys when it's gonna start its countdown. Um, um, all things considered, this is a pretty quick family night meal. Um, you could very easily cook this bacon on the stove or in the oven the day before, or if you had, say, I don't know anybody who ever has leftover bacon, because who on earth would ever not eat all of the bacon? Right, buddy? So say you had some leftover bacon, you could very easily have the leftover bacon ready to go and do the, just the chicken and the rice and add the bacon in after and quickly have this meal ready in probably 20 minutes. So this is one of those meals where it's like, holy shit, I don't know what we're having for dinner on a school night where you're tired, you don't have any idea what you're going to cook. Um, you could honestly also um, take a completely frozen chicken thighs from the freezer and plop them in the Instant Pot with rice and chicken broth. It would probably take about double as long so instead of 15 to 20 minutes to cook so it's at 10 minutes now so everything's at pressure it's cooking on low pressure it's at 10 minutes so we'll have dinner in 10 minutes um you it would probably take about 20 minutes for it to cook from frozen and then after it's cooked you could take the chicken out and either chop it up or shred it and add it back to the instant pot so if you forget to thaw your meat, the Instant Pot is also very forgiving in that way. I've done chicken tacos that way, where I will add frozen chicken thighs or chicken breasts to the Instant Pot, add a packet of taco seasoning, just pour it in, just dump it into the Instant Pot and add um, like a half a cup or so of chicken broth seal it and walk away, let that cook for like 20 minutes or so. And I just let it um, natural release, like probably 30, 45 minutes, come back and like, we'll have chicken tacos that night. 
it's so nice to not have to worry about lording <laughs> over the stove, especially in the summer. It's one of those cooking nightmare lifesavers that I don't know what I would do without. It's very, very nice. Hi. Tall friend with ketchup on his shirt. Mm. How are you? Yes. Yes. Um. <laughs> Eight minutes. I'm counting. I know, it's so hard to wait, right? Dinner is a delicious thing. What are you saying? You're shaking your booty. <laughs> Look, Lenia says hi. Hi. Poor hungry small person. It's so hard being you, huh? Just hungry. 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 Soon my voice is gonna start getting deeper and then I'm gonna sound like a 50 year old man. A 50 year old man? Yes. Yeah. Yes, you're gonna go through puberty and instantly sound like you're 50. <laughs> you're back in my day! It basically has a world and a resource pack that replaces a lot of stuff. It changes the textures of the mobs and some of the like the weapons and gold ingots are now pieces of gold. Hmm. Fancy pants. Yeah. And the the weapons look very kind of smooth. Yeah, like. They have ice swords, fire swords. Yeah. Seems cool. Yeah. And a lot of the textures in the game, like the blocks, looked very different. Yeah. And you could build and make different different things in your house. Mm hmm It was kind of cool. And the chests have a dis different texture. Mm-hmm. Hey, stop doing that. Nice push. That was a good one. Yep. Yeah. Careful. No, that's... Mm -mm, please don't. Why not? Don't put your face over an instant pot. Because that's just not safe. Okay. Being that close bodily to a highly pressurized vat of boiling liquid, that makes me nervous. The Greek resource pack. Oh, and the sky. It also looks realistic. The sky looks really realistic? Yep. That's yeah. cool. Oh, it, wow, it does. Here. I'll show you guys. I don't know if you can really see it on stream very well. Yeah, it's hard to see on stream, but the sky is like a really gradiated with clouds from like dark blue and red on the other side. It looks really pretty. Yeah. Who's jumping on hay? A villager is jumping on a bale of hay. Hey! Yeah. 
He's just gonna go over there and jump on that bale of hay. He's a hay jumper. That's just his job. I'm jumping on He's just jumping. He's just a jumper. That's his job. That's not very nice. <laughs> nice. Let's get some bowls and plates for serving. Hi. My, I'm almost ready. I'm right in time for the bacon. The put the bacon. Yep, the bacon's gonna go in in a minute. Huh? What? We're watching Asher play in Minecraft. Um, we're gonna put in a little bit more of that. And then we're gonna put in the bacon. Um, I do sometimes add a little bit of cream cheese to this recipe. Because, why not? So, technically, this recipe could have cheese in it. Uh, I think the cream cheese adds a, a little bit of flavor and creaminess. Um, my suggestion is if you want to add, if you want to add cheese to this recipe, cream cheese that is, um, to warm it up or have it at room temperature because cold cream cheese will have those little curds in it and it's not not very nice to have those little like nuggets or curds of cream cheese in your rice curds. little yeah they're kind of like little turds of cream cheese they were Look at how beautiful I am. I'm a beautiful You I are beautiful. Look, I All right, I need you to move, please. Like this? All right, now I'm going to be really loud. It's a cheese adjacent recipe. Cheese optional, right? Exactly. I'm going to add, I'm going to release the steam. Like release the kraken. And this is when my children go running because they don't like the sound. What are you gonna play? Plants vs. Zombies is much more appropriately a cooking stream. There's a zombie on your lawn. There's a zombie on your lawn. There's a zombie on your lawn. Quick release, depending on how much moisture is in your 
Um, pot will ow, take anywhere from two to three minutes. Idle, idle champions for our cooking stream. Mm hmm. Idle champions is a great game. So once this pin goes down, you can release your instant pot lid. So the contents of your instant pot when you cook with rice will always look really weird. You'll see whatever protein you've cooked with. You'll see rice and various, it's like reading tea leaves almost. It's usually very interesting. So I usually just stir to get things going. And now I'm gonna add our shades. really hot what well I let go of it when it got too hot but that was really hot your brains Um, okay. There's a zombie on your lawn. There's um, a ranch on your table. Oh. And I will add another probably scant tablespoon. <laughs> Don't hurt you. Of that. And stir. It's very hot. You put it. You put in the bacon without. No, I did not put the bacon in yet. I knew you wanted to put the bacon in, so I did not put the bacon. Yay! In. <laughs> I get to put the bacon in. Would you like to put the bacon in? Yeah. No, let's just put the whole. That'd take like seven days. Bacon's back in. Stir. If you plan on using the rice leftovers for like fried rice, I wouldn't add the cream cheese. Um, that makes it really hard to refry. Um, our family usually likes to eat this um, in leftovers just in a bowl. Um, not typically refried, like in a hot. Please be careful. So that is Chicken Bacon Ranch Rice. So we've been streaming for 58 minutes currently. That included about two minutes lead up time and about three minutes of yakking before we actually got started. So about 50 minutes total um, of actual cooking time. So who wants dinner? And then you can have cheesecake, yes. You want to get some silverware? Okay, bye. I will do it. That's a little too much food for Avery. You got both sport forks and spoons. What? I get the plate. Ooh la la. Let's 
Let's eat. We can play Goat Simulator later. Goats. But don't you like goats? I love goats. But we can play Goat Simulator later, after we eat. How is it? We love it. Thumbs up? I don't typically serve before I actually taste it myself. Yeah, mommy's gonna taste it. What does it taste like, mama? That's good. You did this. A okay. A okay. Nice. Nice. Um. Like I said, if you don't have the ranch seasoning, um, nice. um, if you don't have the ranch seasoning, you can use onion powder, garlic powder, um, a bit of salt, some, um, Chi is for cheesy poofs, guys, in case you didn't know. Um, so yeah. But this stuff, I think I also got this at Costco. Um, it's good. You can make salad. It has a salad dressing recipe, a, a dip recipe on it. Um, it makes a lot of dip. It's really versatile, and I like it very much. It's got a a whole a whole heckin' lot of um, applications. Um, it touts that unlike um, the leading competitors' ranch seasoning dip and salad dressing, it doesn't have MSG, artificial flavor, maltodextrin, and uh, cellulose in it. Hi, Lou. Like yes, that is what bacon looks like cooked. Um, and honestly, this recipe is a good base for many different types of proteins plus rice in your Instant Pot. Um, two cups of rice. Mm-hmm. Many people, exactly. Two cups of rice, three cups of uh, broth, uh, some sort of seasoning, um, and I'd say a pound to three pounds of some sort of protein, and you've got yourself a meal. Um, would you guys like a fruit with dinner? It would be a fruit, yes. Is, is the ranch seasoning okay in this one? It's better than, we had the ranch seasoning in another meal the other day with pasta. And it didn't, it wasn't quite right. But with the rice and the bacon, it's just, it's just right. Um, an apple maybe? Yes. Yep, I will slice you up some apple. You're gonna eat me and as you're eating apple. And how how's your evening been, Lou? The many people are eating the chicken bacon ranch rice. This is such a, a great family quick family night meal. And you were watching it eat, and in a second, you were gonna watch it eat on top. But you're having cheesecake. Oh, right, cheesecake. You're gonna watch it eat. Um, cheesecake. and like, um, one video away, um, we did a cheesecake video. 
You did do a cheesecake video last week, huh? Uh, you guys need to go back and watch that video if you didn't. Yeah, did you hear her? If you didn't watch our cheesecake video last week, you guys should go back and watch that. You spent three hours at Walmart trying to find your mom's iPad? <gasps> oh shit, Lou. What? Hmm? What happened? I wanted to one, of, one of my community members was just at Walmart spending three hours trying to find um, uh, her mom's iPad that somebody stole out of her bag. No. no. Way. No way. Way. Did you find it, Lou? Mm -hmm. Whoa! Turn our engines down, okay? Whoa! What? He's eating. He's eating it all. You didn't find it. Oh no. I'm sorry, Lou. That sucks. If you still have it, um, you can watch our video on, um, uh, like, YouTube. It's okay to tell people to watch my previous videos, by the way. But they're called VODs on Twitch, Avery, if you want to get the terminology correct. So you go back and watch our VOD. A VOD. On, um, Cheesecake. Um, so I'm watch our VOD of, uh, making... I'll probably need to watch that later. Mom, stop mm. feeding me apples. Why? Because they're too good. They're too good? And I'm going to take these apple peels out for the pig. Feed them to me. Feed them to the pig. I'm very only a pig. Hey, jerks. Beep, beep. Well, Kobo's fast asleep. Hey, jerk. Why don't you worry about you? He wants more. Again, I think you could worry about you. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but I was chasing. Chasing after a fork, oh no. Um, so overall, uh, as you can see, this made a pretty big batch of rice and proteins, etc. Steampunk. He used a, an emote. What was it? Uh, it's an emote from um, Sequisha. is a very awesome streamer. Um, he's got a, an amazing mustache. An amazing mustache. Like, epic level proportion mustache. Like, might even be better than Papa's. No. My no, right? Uh, <laughs> Um, but he's got, like, big eyes, and it's just the mustache. Hi, Fahad! How are ya? Guys, the best mustache. Like, Sequisha's mustache is... Guys, look at this. If like... I put some, uh, 
Uh, yeah, there's there's no better mustache on Twitch. No better mustache on Twitch. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's also a really, 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 really great streamer. So maybe that too. But kind of the mustache also. They are. Are you enjoying the food? The boy ate his entire bowl in about seven minutes. Six. And my audio is cutting out, so I'm gonna restart my I'm gonna restart my microphone. Hang on a sec, guys. Hold the phone. I hope that is better. Yes, I can get you some cheesecake. Can you guys hear me? Um, and hear the music okay? Do you like guys want to eat with us? Does everybody want to eat with you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, have some chicken, bacon, ranch fries. Yeah. You finish your food fast when it's too good? Yes. Yes. <laughs> My little ham. Right? Such a sharer. Can you maybe not talk with your mouth full? <laughs> we should also... You know what I should do with these cameras? not auto fixing the warmness of the video very well. Sharing is caring. Sharing, Sharing is caring. <laughs> Alright, okay, don't touch the camera with the food, please, because I don't want to have to clean it. I don't want to get food on the camera, no. Last two pieces of cheesecake. No! I know, right? No! So I'm happy to report that both of the children have said that they would like cheesecake as their birthday cake from now on. You went to Starbucks today? Mmm. No, no, no. Somebody in my chat is saying they went to Starbucks today. Yeah, why didn't you take me with you? Mm. My son wants to know why you didn't take him with you, Fahad. Why didn't you also take me? I wanted to get an answer to that, bud. After Columbus, Fahad says, sorry, I'm a 14 hour flight away. Hey, no punching allowed. No. No punching and there's no violence in my chat. No. Yes. I don't want to get banned from Twitch. No. That's against yes. that's against terms of service. You get banned. Like the ban. Yeah. Whoa, friend, slow down. <laughs> Keep your hands to yourself, please. That I can hear your father as well. We shall put the 
remnants of this. <clears throat> It's not a cage fight stream, no. My friend has gone. Your what? Listen, 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 listen. Fuck up, fuck up, fuck up, fuck up. Get out! Get out! Thank you for the subscription, Fahad. I have been waiting. I can't tell you how long I have been waiting for someone to subscribe and get a Gordon Ramsay subscription. Um, chicken bacon ranch rice. Thank you for the sub. What? You've been... I love Gordon Ramsay. Yes, you gotta finish at least a little bit more apple to have cheesecake. Thanks for the sub. Pass the ram sauce. The ram sauce? Exactly. Is that enough? One more bite of... I mean, if you're full, you're full. And then you shouldn't be eating cheesecake either. But we need to have a balanced meal before we have dessert, right? <laughs> Avery died because she loves cheesecake. Avery died because she loves cheesecake. I don't want you to die. I passed out. Oh, she passed out. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think someone is suffering from the ridiculousness of first day of school hilariousness. Got a first, like, oh, sorry, not first day of school, second day of school giggles. Yes, today was the second day of school. Hey, I'm worried somebody's gonna get stabbed with a fork. Two weeks still? I wish we did. Um, typically, like when I went to school, we usually didn't start until the last week of August. And then we maybe had like three days until Labor Day. And then we had four or five days off because of Labor Day. And then we would come back to school after Labor Day. But then we were in school until, like, middle of June. You guys in school, like, before June even, like, early. Right? So you guys in school... Murdering the cheesecake? Yes. You are absolutely annihilating the cheesecake. You annihilated <laughs> Michelle says hi to you. <laughs> I could I could bring your food downstairs if you want. Oh my god. Don't force yourself because you're just gonna end up throwing up. All over you. Yeah, don't throw up on stream. Don't throw up on chat. That would be bad. <laughs> Can you clean up your dishes? Yeah, don't push your... Oh my goodness. You have friends whose kids went back to school a while ago? Oh. I can't imagine. More? Less? Good? Just pile it on there. 
I guess. Love you. Thank you. It's funny bone or whole bone. Are you all right? Are you gonna live? Do we need to call the emergency responders to come and take you away? Do you need me to amputate? Emergency. You're fine. Hit you hit your funny bone. <laughs> All right, you've got eight minutes until it's time to get ready for bed. No, no. That's not an answer you can give me right now. Five minutes. No, it's literally six fifty-two. Six minutes. Which means eight minutes. Now it's seven minutes until eight o'clock, <laughs> or seven o'clock, which means that's when you need to start getting ready for bed. Whoa, this is tall. Mm-hmm. Um, this is a meal that I make often. It's a good... You're gonna make yourself sick. I would really like for you to stop doing that. I don't know what's happening. Oh, <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, but this is a, a recipe I make often. Um... And it's it's a good one. It's very nice. Can you also say my friend? No, the camera's not really on him. Uh, no, you're just making obnoxious noises and making it hard for me to concentrate, which is of course really appreciated. Why don't you um here? Why don't I put the the stream on you? You can play some Goat Simulator for everybody. That's ridiculous, Fahad. That they can't use um, Amazon Prime to subscribe to a channel for free. Ugh. Because of course. You have to talk to Twitch. Wait, you have to talk to Amazon. No, you have to talk to Twitch. Are you done eating? Let's stay focused. Let's use your spoon, please. Thank you for using your silverware. Yeah, I would be over it as well. <sighs> no, let's not murder anybody. Well, maybe we could just eat it because that's a good thing to do. That doesn't even look like a goat. What's fun of playing Goat Simulator if you're not actually playing a goat? Playing a white goat! Um. Well... That's not a goat! That's not a goat either. That's a giraffe. That is a giant alien undulating... Wow, okay, that's a goat. That looks like... Well, I don't even know what that is. That's that's fine. That's an actual goat. You can't really play Goat Simulator. It can't be called Goat Simulator. Giraffe Simulator. Yes. Weird. Very weird. Oh, no. I would play a giraffe sim as well. Yes, 
<laughs> I would like this piece of art, please. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am. That might be, that might be it, Fahad. Um, my, my feeling, my gut instinct is that a lot of the Amazon features when it comes to many countries, um, are still getting a lot of their kinks worked out. Two minutes. By murdering that cheesecake, I hope you mean eat it, because in two minutes, I'm cleaning off the table, and whatever's left is going in the trash. Look at the cute sub badge! Six months, six months subscriber badge is the cutest. It's raining tacos from out of the sky. Alright, one minute. You better eat that cheesecake or it's going in the trash. <laughs> That's a super cute sub edge. Does he have a Mickey Mouse hat on? Do you have that? Do you have that ability that lets you rain goats down? <laughs> it looks like Dead Mouse, yeah. Oh, it is Dead Mouse, yeah. Seven o'clock. Alexa, stop. Um. Well, that's that's chicken bacon ranch rice, guys. That's the cooking stream. That's one of our favorite meals. It's rice. It's chicken. It's bacon. It's delicious, Avery Jane. I just told you that I was going to clean up whatever wasn't eaten, so I think your priority should be finishing your cheesecake. Um. Uh, thank you guys for, for tuning in and hanging out. Ah, certainly I'll push out of that. While, while we watch some ridiculous uh, dead mouse goat simulator. Dead mouse? Dead mouse, dead mouse. Goat? Why you? The falling goat in the sky. You're weirded out by the smooth jazz? I like the smooth jazz. It makes me happy. I don't know if I'm going to stream later or not. It all depends on really how tired I am. Kind of in the mood. Kind of in the mood to play Sea of Thieves, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, thanks again for tuning in to Chicken Bacon Ranch Rice and keeping me company while I made dinner. I hope you all have a fabulous 
evening. I'm about to throw away some cheesecake, apparently. No, you not. Wow, pretty good. <laughs> um, have a fabulous evening if I don't see you. Thanks again for the sub, Fahad. Have a lovely, lovely day. It was very fun. I know, it was very fun. I appreciate you. I'll throw it, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'll throw away some cheesecake into my mouth, right? Dad's gonna come throw away that cheesecake into his mouth. <laughs> Love you guys. I'll see you later.